one up, it's time to drive. Watch the racetrack come alive. Then the racers look the bands. Swimming round the laps to get to the end. Some will win and some will lose. Got to drive, no time to cruise. And then the racers flying fast. No one wants to be last. See you at the start. And that's pretty much it. Everything is going according to plan, and nobody suspects a thing. Excellent. Has King been giving you any trouble? King? <laughs> he hasn't quite woken up to the fact that he's not in charge anymore. I've got him and everything else on a tight leash. Do you? Really? Tag took out the whole lot of you in the last race. Some of us were beginning to wonder if I made the right choice putting you in charge. Oh well, what can I say? The kid's pretty good. But I'm better. Tag won't get that lucky again. You have my word, boss. Very well. The plan is in place. Make it happen, Pike. Or else. My, my. Sounds like your boss is in a foul mood. When is he ever in a good mood? Besides, your boss is the one who started it. Do you really? So what now? Now, we remind everyone who's in charge. Gather the troops. Watch out for the troops! What do you think I'm doing? I'm trying to keep them off you. Well, try harder! Hey, you do your job and I'll do mine. Ah, you two. Resistance is futile. You cannot defeat me. I'm a space commander with a genius level intellect. A creature of singular focus. A monument to... So, Mila, when are you going to ask Vix out on a date? Creature of focus. You're a monument, all right. A monument to losing. <laughs> well, that was just downright dirty. What can I say, buddy? All's fair in love and galactic conquest. <laughs> Nicely said. Oh, hey, Tag. Hey, guys, have you seen... Oh, there you are, Milo. Kind of need a favor. Forget it. Not going to happen. Lover boy here is a sore loser. <laughs> You help me out on this, and I promise I won't make fun of you and Vix for a whole week. Make it two. Deal! <sighs> Let's go. Hey, hold up, guys. We'll come with. No, you two stay here. I've had quite enough of you for today. Think we went too far? I don't know. Maybe? <laughs> <laughs> So what do you need, Tag? Nothing much. I just need you to take a look at the Ripper. Miles can't take care of that? He doesn't know you're asking me for this favor, does he? What is going on with you two? Nah, it's a long story. Miles isn't even around at the moment. Anyway, just help me out with this one, will you? I'll owe you one. Fine. Let me get my tools. <sighs> Summon me to my own office, will you? We'll see about King. it. You're late. You'd think that with the kind of money you have, you could afford to hire someone to tell you what time it is. Or a watch. Whatever. I had some business to attend to with Miss Torres. Yeah, sure you did. Now that everyone's here, we can finally get started. Started with what? Well, to begin with, how about a reminder of what a terrible job you're doing? <laughs> Excuse me? The goal was to push Tag and his buddies so low down the rankings that they'll never be able to race in another tournament again. Quick, clean, legal. And yet, you keep letting Tag get the better of you. Uh, didn't he manage to take you three out in one go on the last race? 
He wouldn't have gotten there in the first place if Mr. Fake Champ here had done his part. I don't get it. Why don't we just bump them off the race? You know, uh, permanently. <laughs> Told you that's the best he'd come up with. <sighs> because, my dim-witted friend, there's already too much attention in the wrong places as it is. Plus, there are some loose ends. Until we tie them up, we can't make our move. Loose ends? One, Tag still has the black box. As long as he has it, he has leverage. Two, Milo. Our databases were guaranteed to be secure, and yet that little lizard has hacked into RGP systems not once, but twice. He's a threat, one that must be dealt with in time. And three, Tamira. Our bosses are convinced that she's not working alone. She couldn't have done what she did without some help. Tamira's all mine. I can get her to talk. Heck, give me enough time with her. I'll make her sing. <laughs> You'll get that chance. But for now, just keep a close eye on her. As for Tag, we have another way to get info on him and his friends. Let things play out for now. If everyone does their job right, Tag and the rest will get an early retirement package and will be out of our hair forever. Think you can manage that, champ? Hey, you're back. Yup. So, okay. So, Tag, notice anything strange about the Ripper? It looks like somebody came in, changed a whole bunch of presets on the Ripper, and undid all the tuning work that I put in for the past few days. Any idea how that happened? From the handiwork, I can tell it was Milo. I just thought it'd be nice to get a second opinion. I mean, come on, Milo invented half of the parts in there. Uh-huh, that makes sense. But what I don't quite get is why you had to do this behind my back. I just wanted to know for sure that the car is safe that nothing would blow up in the middle of the race. Why would you? How could you even think that I'd do something like that? Gee, I don't know. Didn't stop you from doing it to your best friend now, did it? Ugh, this again. After all we've been through? Tag, I've been looking out for you ever since you first sat behind the wheel. And you've been lying to me even longer than that! Leave the car as it is, Miles. Just fill her up and get it ready for the race tomorrow. Oh, come on, Milo. We already told you we're sorry. And the food's on me this time. The food is free! And even if it wasn't, you're eating all of it! <laughs> hey, have you guys noticed it's just the three of us hanging out lately? Where's Tag and Miles? There's something going on with us two. We shouldn't get involved. Trust me on this. I guess you're right. But hey, it doesn't have to be just the three of us, you know. We can always invite... Don't say it, don't say it, don't you dare say it! Tamira! <laughs> <laughs> Good one! That was funny. Hmm, what do you know? I have to go. Milo, come on, we're just having some fun! Dude, lighten up! The next one's on me too! I got your message. You can come out. You know, there is a light switch in here. It's better if nobody knows I'm here. Any progress with the- Shh, wait. Security protocols. You can never be too sure who's listening. Any progress with the black box? Thumb, whoever came up with the encryption program for this thing deserves a medal. What do you mean? First of all, the data can't be copied off this box. Any attempt to do that will fry the whole thing. So we can't make any backups. It doesn't stop there. I've recovered all the deleted data you told me about, but it's useless. Useless? Useless, of no use, gibberish. I've been running every known decrypting algorithm against it for months, but I still can't make any sense out of it. Hmm. Someone really doesn't want us to know what's in there. And they did a good job to make sure it stays that way. Oh. I have to ask though, why are we being so secretive about this? Maybe one of the others can help. No, the fewer people know about this, the better. If you say so. Anyhow, until we can make sense of the code, there's nothing we can do but focus on the race.
Ladies and gentlemen, it's finally time for this week's event. This promises to be an exciting race full of twists and turns. Some of you older fans might remember this track as the location for the very first RGP race, way back in the day. That's right, folks. Welcome back to the Termite's Nest. Constructed long ago by giant prehistoric insects, this majestic complex is truly one of nature's wonders. Bugs! They're long gone, Beaks, and the rumors of giant killer bugs still roaming the tunnels are complete hogwash, as far as we know. Let's join the racers who are currently being lowered to the starting grid, hundreds of meters deep below the surface. How far down does this thing go? It's been forever. Hopefully, claustrophobia hasn't settled in yet. For those of you who are too young to remember, this track is an intricate web of intersecting tunnels, so the racers will have to make some very quick decisions. <laughs> no surprises there. Surprise! That's right, Beaks. There is something extra in store for them today. Miss Dira, if you would be so kind. Thank you, Bex. We've added one more surprise to spice up this event even further. What was that? Engine inhibitors have just been installed on each race car. What? They're nothing to worry about, unless you fall behind. At two points in the race, special checkpoint gates have been installed. When the lead racer passes the gate, a countdown timer will be activated. The racers need to battle their way out of last place before the timer runs out, or their engine will shut down, eliminating them from the race. So it's not only a race to the finish, but a race to stay in the game. Good luck, everybody. Pick it up. Gentlemen, start your engines! He's having some trouble with the Ripper. Trouble? Huh? What did you do to my car, Milo? What? I optimized it just like you told me to. Maybe Miles changed something. I did not. Tag, I changed nothing. Then why is the car acting so... Tag, look out! Whoa! Those two look like they're in a hurry. Tag better get his act together, because here comes the first elimination checkpoint! First one to be eliminated would be last year's super rookie, Tag. Tag does not look happy at all. And who can blame him? First one out, that's got a sting. Sting!
Mika and her flying kisses, that move clearly backfired. Vix and the Daisy Doll just <laughs> crashed out of this race. Who's next? What is your problem? Enough of this. Don't worry, I've got him. I think I've ever seen a racer try to take out another racer by throwing another racer. Is that even legal? Oh, not this again. The Cerberus has activated the last elimination checkpoint. Pike has maintained the lead throughout this entire race, but our four-time champ is nipping at his heels. And now the Andromeda is out. That's four racers down. This is it, folks. No more forks in the road. Just a mad dash to the finish line. What do you think you're doing? It all comes down to this. In this tight space, it's too risky to activate their car's special functions without causing damage to themselves. Who will be the victor today? until you're safely over the line. What a move by Axel! It might have taken a couple of races, but the ace is definitely making a point to remind us why he's the champ. And would you believe it? All the newest additions to the RGB lineup taken down and taken out. Definitely not a good day for the rookies. Hey, champ. Hey. So, we need to talk about your little stunt back there. The plan was to not let Tag win, and he didn't. Well, the plan didn't include leaving me in the gutter either, genius. If you can't keep up, then maybe you're not the right person for the job. You really think this is about racing? About winning, fame, and all that baloney? I make more money in a day than what you'd make in your entire racing career. I couldn't care less about the RGP, the trophy, or you. What I do care about is getting the job done. We all have a part to play. Do yours, or I'll personally make sure that you get, how did your friend put it, bumped off the race permanently. Yep, just as I thought. So, what was wrong with it? Nothing, absolutely nothing. Mito did a great job. He synchronized the conductors, retimed the rev counters. The Ripper was operating at maximum efficiency. I don't get it, so why? The car's fine, but Milo didn't take the driver into account. His settings didn't match your driving style. 
Did you know this was going to happen? Of course I did. Nobody knows how you drive better than I do. Then why didn't you tell me? Would you have listened? <sighs> Miles, this isn't working anymore. I know I said I'd try to make it work between us, and I have, but... <sighs> I don't think I can do this with you anymore. I agree. Also, I don't care. What? A long time ago, I made a promise to your dad. To keep you safe. That I'd take care of you. Like you were my own. I'm keeping that promise. No matter what happens. So you do what you want. But I'm not going anywhere.